So the shop collection resides back here. There's my uh, Sega Power Drift. It works, but it has an issue with one of the video RAMs. I'm trying to get that taken care of as soon as possible. All these games actually have, they all work. This one, uh, the Arkanoid, is in a Gorf cabinet. Needs some love. But it works and plays, except for the fact that I have the control panel out right now. I'm currently, well I actually just fixed the spinner. I'm currently cleaning up the buttons and the rest of the control panel. And I'm replacing this lower marquee, actually with a replacement Gorf lower marquee. It's not getting converted back to Gorf, but it's it's getting um, it's getting a facelift back to sort of where it was <laughs> before it was converted from Gorf to uh, Arkanoid. So there's part of the control panel you can see there. I've got all the buttons and spinner and everything out for cleaning right now. And then uh, Area 51 and Maximum Force. This one has an issue with uh, the guns don't track that well for some reason. And I'm looking into that. I replaced the PCBs and light sensors in, in the light guns. And I've tested the voltages. Everything seems okay. I'm not quite sure why they're not tracking right. I, th I think it might have to do with, um, I got this one apart so I can kind of show you. This, this is the light sensor right here. And I think when I have this mounted in, this light sensor has to like line up with, there's a little lens that goes right here. It's on the other half right now, but um, I just think it's not quite lined up properly. So, I just have to mess around with it. I just haven't really had time to mess around with it. But those are my full size cabinets. Can't fit them in the house, so so currently they're they're in the shop. So let's move over to the house and check out the one-up collection. So back in the house, here's my little home arcade. So just got everything set up in this little hallway slash foyer area. Got the TMNT set up with uh, enough room where you can get in and play Raphael and everything. So here's the MK2. If you didn't see the videos on this, I kind of did a series on it. Installed a lit marquee. Tempered glass over the monitor, uh, 20 inch Dell FP mon L FPB monitor, uh, custom bezel that I show you how to make out of, I just made this out of poster board. I'll tell you a little bit more about this switch in a minute. Paradise Arcade LED buttons. IL joysticks, which are the HAP competition. Of course, this is running a Raspberry Pi, so we have um, thousands of games. And that was going, you know, like a page at a time. Like if you, just, if you scrolled one game at a time, it would just take you forever to get through this list. Um, so anyway. Custom stereo speaker system. With an amplifier. Volume control and everything. Uh, built in. Coin door. The coin door actually works. The coin door not only works, but it's required in this one. There's all the quarters. Of 
And I've got everything powered on this uh, switch. I think it's a 4 PST. And this powers an actual arcade uh, power supply. So it's got 12 volt and 5 volt rails. And then, uh, yeah, so everything is powered by that, including the amplifier, the marquee. The monitor is not, but it's on the same switch. So it's hooked up to the same AC power that the power supply is hooked up to. The coin door lights and everything are, are on the same, the same switch. Everything's hooked up to the power supply except for the monitor. The monitor is, is connected by uh, AC, but it's on the same switch, like I said. Moving on, here's the turtles cabinet. I can turn the lights back off. The turtles cabinet has a light up marquee from Game Room Solutions. Uh, this one is um, arca the Arcade Game Factory. I don't think I had, when I did the comparison video, I don't think I had the two side by side, so you can see them side by side now. Arcade Game Factory, Game Room Solutions. All right, and we modded this. The only mod that we've done to this is we installed um, two pound springs in here. We installed octagonal gates, octo octagonal, some people say octagonal, octago octagonal, <laughs> however you want to say it, uh, gates in these. And we put cherry switches in to replace those uh, cheap crappy switches. We did that on all four. Here's the Marvel Superheroes limited edition cabinet. No modding on that, but I did do a review. And it's, of course, got the Samwa controls and everything. Um, but did a review on this one. It's a pretty nice cabinet. Of course, this is the stock lit marquee because the limited edition came with the with the lit marquee. But other than that, everything is stock on this. Here's our golden tea. Again, stock lit marquee. Everything is stock on this. I actually just got it a week ago. So even if I wanted to mod this, I really haven't had any time. But I've been having a lot of fun with this Golden Tea. Other than the review that I did of Golden Tea, which was the same day that I got it, I've been playing this one probably more than any of these other cabinets. I really, 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 really like this game. I don't know. There's just something about the casual nature of it. And it's casual, but it's challenging. And I don't know. Just It's just awesome i love it and star wars star wars i've been playing second most other than golden t so these two i actually play believe it or not more than even my mk with thousands of games on it just i don't know there's something about these the quality is really great on them uh, of course i did a review of this one as well i i love the uh I, I love cabinets with uh, special control schemes. I don't know. There's something about, like, the plain old joysticks and buttons that's really classic. And I love to play, you know, MK and and things like that on here. On the uh, M, on the MK2 machine. But the problem with, th with this one is that I don't have a four-way joystick. So I can't play like the true classics like uh, Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man and Burger Time and things like that. You can, but it, they're just, they don't control as well as they should. So, but uh, as you could tell from the shop games, I just like things with different control schemes. So like the Star Wars with the yoke is really awesome. It's really fun. The trackball with the golden tee. Um... And then back at the shop, I've got the, the Sega Power Drift, which is a driving game. I've got the Maximum Force, which is a shooting game. Uh, the Arkanoid, which is a spinner. 
So it's like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just kind of getting into uh, different different control schemes than the old the old classic joysticks and buttons. But like I said, I still love these types of games. I sit here and play Mortal Kombat on this all the time. Uh, and that's that's kind of actually all I play on it. I, I don't even know why I modded it. Like all the other games I want to play are four-way joysticks and and different control schemes like like these two and the ones in the in the back shop. So anyway, <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop me a like if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and leave a comment and let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to see any more of these uh, more in depth than what I've already done or if you have any questions. Thanks again, guys. See you next time.